After yesterday's 107 to 103 win over the Sacramento Kings, Kyrie Irving had a little bit of schmack to say about the Sacramento Kings and their lack of adjustments in the second quarter. I'm sorry, in the second half, and how the Dallas Mavericks just had their number and they knew that they were going to win this game. As well as Luka Doncic also talking some smack at the free throw line and after the game about the the previous GM of the Sacramento Kings for not drafting him. We're gonna break all that down in this video. But how's it going, everybody? My name is Marcel Martin. This is Mavericks Digest, bringing you the latest news on everything Mavericks related. And before we get started with today's video, 63.5% of you guys watching are not subscribed. That number is slowly going down day by day. But if you're loving the videos, the content, the live streams, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on a single thing that we do here. But yesterday's game against the Sacramento Kings, it, it was huge. That game meant a lot. Me personally, I thought after we played them a few days ago, we, we may split this and move on for the rest of the nine games of the season hopefully continue to win a few games and just maintain that six seed and shame on me for not thinking better of this team just the leadership of Luka Doncic combined with just the clutch fourth quarter takeover in Kyrie Irving I said in, in the last video but Kyrie had 14 points in the fourth quarter and didn't miss a single shot the man was on fire he was electric he was doing everything that we know that he can do and more but there were a few quotes after the game from Kyrie that I just love that I think that we definitely need to break down. With this right here, Kyrie Irving after the game saying, we just preparing for them to throw their best shot in the first 24 minutes. And after that, coming out of halftime, we were waiting for the rest of their adjustments and they had none. So I think that's chess right there. Tells you pretty much what's going on. Now, rock with me real quick because not only did Kyrie Irving just have a mastermind just knowing that okay first quarter they were kind of beating us they were hitting their shots we our defense was kind of falling apart let's make our adjustments watch what they do and see how we can go forward but I mean Kyrie saw it there were no adjustments there was nothing that they were doing we were getting our shots we were getting in our stride we were playing better defense we were taking much better shots we were trusting our guys I mean I know you saw the shot from Dante Exum the man was clutch but to know that Kyrie Irving and it was like, hey, you, I thought you were going to do better, but you didn't. But also, Jason Kidd. And again, a lot of people still don't have faith in Jason Kidd. A lot of our win last night had to do with Jason Kidd because we also did not play Tim Harvey Jr. in the fourth. I'll throw the box score up right here. Tim Harvey Jr., five points in 20 minutes. Was one of seven from the field, one of four from three. I mean, he, like, Jason Kidd did a good job last night despite what it feels like nothing was working for us. And Maxi Kleba, I think he had a pretty good game. I think he played good defense. He hit, a, what, two of, two of his threes. All of his shots went in. It was only two threes, but it was still good. He was playing great defense. The adjustments that this team is making in-game is going to be so crucial come playoff time because in a best of seven, saying that, oh, you know, we'll just try again next game, that could cost you a series. Every game is crucial. It's okay if you go down a game or two, but once when it comes to games like four and five, Maybe even to game six, you really got to be careful and make those better adjustments in game. You have to know how to out coach the opponent's coach and outplay the other players' players. And that's just what this Mavericks team is doing on a nightly basis. But not only was Kyrie Irving talking that schmack, the man Luka Doncic also had a lot to say while at the free throw line. Luka Doncic, as he puts away the Kings tonight in Sacramento with his final free throw, then as the final horn sounds, waves goodbye to former Kings GM Vlade Divac, seated courtside, and says, He should have drafted me. Now, no. Does Luka Doncic wish he was a Sacramento King? No. But I think that is just funny. That's hilarious that after I just iced the game with these free throws, my man Dante Exum just put you away with the magnificent three. I kind of leaked the image, but here we go. Like the beam. You can figure out the expletive at the bottom. But the man Dante Exum just was amazing for us down the stretch last night's game. But for Luka Doncic to talk that talk. Yeah, you should have drafted me. And where's Marvin Bagley? It was it was reported, I want to say a few years ago, after they had drafted Marvin Bagley. Maybe it was the draft night. Maybe it was after. I can't remember. But Vladi Divac, kind of explaining why he chose Marvin Bagley over Luka Doncic. He was saying, oh, it's a better fit. Uh, Marvin Bagley will be better for us long term. Where's Marvin Bagley now? I had to check because I honestly forgot. The man is in Washington, D.C. with Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma creating the, the next big three in D.C. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, Vlade Divac, you should have drafted Luka, but it's too late now. The man belongs to Dallas, and he ain't going nowhere. He's dropping triple doubles. He's putting up career highs, breaking records left and right, and he is helping Kyrie lead this team to the promised land. I honestly believe that this Dallas Mavericks team, their ceiling for the, for the postseason is the finals. We can make it. The only real team that I'm worried about is in a seven-game series is the Denver Nuggets. Now, 
it's the end of the regular season. Some teams are a little bit more gassed. The ones that are higher seeded aren't really too worried about where they land as the Denver Nuggets just lost the other night to the Minnesota Timberwolves without Carl Anthony Towns. And I want to say that's like the second or third loss for the Denver Nuggets in the last few weeks. Denver is no longer the first seed. It's now the Minnesota Timberwolves. So we may, depending on how things shake up in the next few weeks, might have to see Denver in the second, maybe first round. But I'm not worried because if we can beat Denver, we can go all the way. I'm not seeing a whole lot of threats in the Eastern Conference, but everything's different come playoff time. You may look good now. You may look better later. And as Mavericks fans, we know Luka Doncic turns it up. He, he plays on a whole nother level come playoff time. And I'm here for I can't wait. And we know what Kyrie brings. He's a champion. He's an all-star. He's that guy. He hit that nice three over the over the Golden State Warriors back in 2016 to help win, win a championship for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So I believe in Kyrie. I believe in Luka. I believe in this team from the top to the bottom because we're going to get it done. Regardless of how far we go, the Mavericks can make it happen. And I'll just throw the box score back up for you guys because we shot 15 of 35 from three. 42%. That's not bad. The 22 of 33 free throws, I would have loved it if we hit a few more free throws, but to be able to get to the line, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, the refs, they were calling everything for Dallas, where I argue some of our defense wasn't even allowed last night, where the Kings were allowed to just smother us, right? But to know that if our inside isn't working, if the outside isn't working, we know Luka Doncic knows how to draw contact and get to the line. The guys are, are able to score whenever they need it. If this isn't working, try that. If that isn't working, try this. And I've said it many times on this channel. The Dallas Mavericks are figuring it out as we go. Every game, we're building upon the things that work. We're fixing the things that don't. And even though some players might have a bad game, it doesn't mean that they're bad players. We don't need them. That just means the next man's got to step up and take care of business and help them out. Like, Last night, we saw with Maxi those two those two clutch threes were amazing for us. We wouldn't have won without those threes. And his defense was great as well. Dante Exum icing the game with his three. All of it, all of it was needed. So when PJ shot, if Tim Hardaway shot isn't falling, those guys, everyone else, someone's got to step up because we know what Luka brings. We know what Kyrie brings in the fourth quarter. And don't forget Josh Green's coming back. I don't have any reports. I tried looking before I made this video trying to find if Josh Green's coming back anytime soon. The most recent report I saw is that he's no longer in a walking boot. And there was a video of him just shooting around a little bit yesterday before the game. So hopefully in the next week or so, we do see Josh Green come back. I like to see him come off the bench. He brings a lot of energy. He's, he's a high energy guy, always everywhere, always doing the right hustle plays. And I love to see it. But yesterday night, Luka Doncic... Looked like his knee was messing with him. I, I want to say his other knee started bleeding. They had to tape it up. And then I, I think Kyrie kind of got banged up. We have a big game tomorrow against the Houston Rockets where they're on an 11-game winning streak. They are slowly moving up, trying to get into that playing territory. And Jalen Green has been playing phenomenal. I can't even lie. But everything goes through Dallas. You want to make the play-in? You got to come see us. You want to make the playoffs? You got to see us. Everything in the West runs through Dallas. And that's my claim. I'm staking my claim right here that we... We are the bar. If you ain't better than us, you ain't going nowhere. We got Luka, we got Kyrie, we got Coach Kidd, we got Daniel Gafford, the landlord, we got PJ Washington, the warden, we got AJ Lawson, the law, you know? So from top to bottom, this team is ready to go, and I'm just loving it. And don't forget to subscribe because we are going live tomorrow for the watch along. I, I wish I could have gone live yesterday because that would have been a great live stream. Just hanging with you guys, going crazy. And that crazy blockbuster game that went down to the wire. But hopefully tomorrow's game because the Houston Rockets is just as good. Hopefully we get a dub and keep things rolling. One down, nine to go into the playoffs. We're locked in. We're ready to go. But thank you for making this far into the video. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned to everything that we're doing. Check out the Twitter and the Discord. Links in the description below. Consider being a channel member to enter a chance to win a free jersey. And as well, I am going to be at the Texas Legends game today. I want to say the game starts about 7.30. If anyone's going to the game, reach out to me. If you see me, stop me. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to think you're weird if you want to stop and say hi, take a picture. I may want to take a picture if you don't. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's up? I love meeting you guys. I love interacting with people. So if you see me tonight, say what's up. I'll post some pictures. I may do a little, little bit of vlogging. Who knows? But until next time, y'all take care. Peace.